वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश फोर्टी फाइव सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ बीम इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड फ्राम फोर बोर्ड्स विच आर नेल टूगेदर इफ द नेल्स आर ऑन बोथ साइड ऑफ द बीम एंड ईच कैन रिजिस्ट अ शेयर ऑफ थ्री किलो न्यूटन डिटरमाइन द मैक्मम लोड पी दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड एड ऑन टू द एंड ऑफ द बीम सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द कैंटिलीवर बीम हैविंग अ लोड पी एट एंड सी एंड देर इज अ थ्री किलो न्यूटन लोड एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ टू मीटर फ्राम दिस साइड सो This is the cross section of the beam that is made up of four boards: one, two, three, four, and they are nailed together to form a beam, box time beam. So you have to find this P load. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that you can see this a cantilever beam. So if you remove this support, so there will be a reaction force. Let this is R A, and there will be a moment which is equal to एम ए सो विल फाइंड दिस रिएक्शन फोर्स एंड एम ए बाई यूजिंग इक्वेशन ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम सो फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम इज सम ऑफ ऑल मूवमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड टेकिंग द काउंटर क्लाक वाइज मूवमेंट एज पॉजिटिव सो अबाउट पॉइंट ए वन मूवमेंट इज दिस एक्सटर्नल मूवमेंट और रिएक्शन मूवमेंट विच इज काउंटर क्लाक वाइज सो इट विल बी पॉजिटिव द सेकेंड मूवमेंट विल बी थ्री इन टू पर पेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस इज टू मीटर एंड दिस इज प्रोड्यूसिंग क्लाक वाइज सो इट विल बी नेगेटिव एंड थर्ड मूवमेंट विल बी पी इन टू पर पेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस इज फोर मीटर एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूसिंग क्लाक वाइज सो इट विल बी नेगेटिव सो सम ऑफ ऑल मूवमेंट्स विल बी जीरो सो आई विल राइट एम ए माइनस थ्री इंटू टू माइनस पी इंटू फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्राम हेयर यू विल गेट एम ए इज इक्वल टू सिक्स प्लस फोर पी सो दिस इज द रिएक्शन मूमेंट नाउ वी विल फाइंड आर ए बाई यूजिंग इक्वेशन ऑफ इक्विब्रम दैट सम ऑफ ऑल फोर्स इज इलॉन्ग वाई डायरेक्शन मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड फोर्स अपवर्ड इज taken as positive so r a is upward so it will be plus minus 3 minus p will be equal to 0 so i will write r a minus 3 minus p is equal to 0 so from here we will get r a is equal to p plus 3 p is not known we will find this now you have this uh r a we know generally know that uh, uh shear flow is equal to q which is equal to horizontal shear force per unit length this is the spacing this is the s clear so we we have fh we have s we will find q and we also know that q is equal to v into q divided by i so v is the sh maximum shear force so for that we will draw the shear force diagram so i will draw the will take the horizontal line from the end of the beam and this horizontal line to show the length this will be in meters you have shear force this is zero point now you can see at point a we have r a which is equal to p plus 3 so let this is your point p and this is your 2 p and let this point is p plus 3 so your first point will be this one this one will be your first point now moving from point a till point b there is no other shear force so it will remain same till this point so it will remain same till this point now at point b you have 3 kilo newton so p plus 3 minus 3 will bring it to p so shear force will change to this point this is your point p now moving from b to c there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal and at the end you can see you have minus p which will bring it to zero this point so this is your shear force diagram so from shear force diagram sfd shear force diagram you have maximum shear force is equal to p plus 3 you can see that this is for region a b this is p plus 3 maximum shear force and what about 
we have now v we do not have i so we'll first find i so you can see if this is the cross section of the beam if you divide it into the center clear so this is uh, symmetrical about horizontal axis so we'll find i i for rectangular cross section is generally 1 over 12 b h cube clear so what we will do is that we will take this box as a solid and we will find i and we will subtract this hollow portion the moment of inertia of this hollow portion so 1 over 12 this total bit is 250 plus 30 plus 30 is 310 so in meter it is 0 0.31 zero meter so this is its breadth and height is total you can see this is 150 so in meter it is 0 0.150 whole cube minus 1 over 12 the portion empty portion so this is 250 you can see this is 250 so breadth is 0 0.250 meter and height height is 150 minus 30 minus 30 which is this length will be 90 millimeter so in meter it is 0 0.09 whole cube bh cube okay so when you find uh, when you calculate it you will get i and this i will be equal to 72 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter power 4 so you have i as well now we will move toward q so what will be q we know that q is equal to y dash bar into a dash so what will be a dash so you can see nail are this so this portion will be your uh, this portion will be your a dash this will be your a dash and a dash is 0 0.250 multiplied by 0. 030 meter so 250 in term of meter is 0 0.250 meter into thickness is 30 millimeter which is 0 0.03 meter and what about y dash so y dash is distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section so this is y dash bar and you can see that this half is 75 because 150 divided by 2 is 75 so 75 and the half of this is 15 so 75 minus 15 will be equal to 15 uh, 75 minus 15 will be equal to 50 okay so 75 60 60 sorry 60 60 millimeter so y dash will be equal to in meter it will be equal to 0 0.06 meter so when you calculate it you will get q is equal to 0 0.450 into 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter now you have all these values so we know that shear force is equal to horizontal shear force per unit length clear so what i am going to do is that we have been given the horizontal shear force is 3 kN since there are two rows of nail clear so i will write 2 multiply by horizontal shear force which is 3 divided by per unit length so this is 100 mm s so in meter it is 0 0.1 so when you calculate it, you will get 60 kN per meter. Horizontal shear force per unit length, our shear flow is 60 kN per meter. So this is Q, 60 kN per meter. Also, we know that shear flow is equal to V into Q divided by I, clear. So Q is 60 maximum shear force is p plus 3 clear which is available over here and we know q q is 0 0.450 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by i and i is 72 into 10 to the power minus 6 so we are interested to find out this p so 60 multiplied by 72 into 10 to the power minus 6 
डिवाइड बाय 0.450 पॉइंट फोर फाइव जीरो इन टू टेन एस्ट पावर माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू पी प्लस थ्री एंड यूर पी विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटी इंटू सेवेंटी टू इन टू टेन एस्ट पावर माइनस सिक्स डिवाइड बाई जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव जीरो इन टू टेन एस्ट पावर माइनस थ्री माइनस थ्री एंड वेन यू कैलकुलेट इट यू विल गेट P will be equal to 6.60 kilo newton. So this is the load P that can be applied to this end of the beam. P is equal to 6.60 kilo newton. And that was all about this problem 7-45. I hope you have enjoyed this video. those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching